love is in the air. Now love can mean different things. You might have an emotional connection. Or your heart beats. Pulse races. Sweat dripping down your forehead. I love that. <laughs> My love is Halloween. And Halloween night, the hacker is revealed. If you don't believe me, <laughs> Hello there guys, my name is Coach Shad Longster Bomb, but built for Theme Park Facts Entertainment and welcome to another Halloween update. Now today we've got the full lineup, ticket prices, dates, everything for 2020 Scare Kingdom Screen Park. Now this is a uh, Halloween event. It was very popular in previous years, very popular last year with some people. And uh, yeah, we're going to talk about the 2020 lineup, talk about the mazes, talk about the prices, the dates. Everything you need to know about this event will be in this video. So before we get started, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Massive shout out to Falco Flair and Aaron Goddard. If you want a shout out in our next video, then comment down below. We're getting closer and closer to 2,000 subscribers, so make sure you keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting, and make sure I reply. You know I do. And for now, guys, let's get into this video, and let's talk about Scare Kingdom Screen Part 2020. So before we take a look at the future, we have to take a look at the past and as far back as last year. So last year, uh, we had five mazes. Uh, we had the Paradise Foundation. Uh, we had this um, Mana Mortis being evolved into the Bally Rectory. We also had the World War II Blitz Maze. Um, we also had um, the Sweeney Todd uh, theme for the fourth maze, the Victorian themed Sweeney Todd story maze. And we also had a voodoo inspired story maze. So overall, a nice mixed range of themes. Now this year is definitely going to be interesting. So the first maze, Horrid High Tea with Scarp Fagot and Mrs. Filch. Enter the terrible tea tent where your creepy butler and rancid cook bid you welcome to the Scare Kingdom Screen Park in Horrid High Tea with Scrape Fagot and Mrs. Flinch. So this is definitely an interesting one. So um, this definitely uh, is, it, it sounds great. It sounds great. And, you know, I think it's your, it's your chef one. It's your chef themed maze. So I'm very excited to see what that, that's going to turn out like. And uh, it's going to be great to see that maze in action. Next up, the Paradise Foundation, Bliss TV. This is a brand new uh, asset to the Paradise Foundation. Facing economic disaster, the devious mastermind, Dr. Prometheus, has resorted to shopping TV to promote his unique brand of treatments, in quotations. Broadcasting live from within the Foundation, hosted by the sardonic Servalax, those who view Channel 666 will never be quite the same person again. Are you a patron or a provider in the Paradise Foundation, Bliss TV? Very, very clever re recommendation on Paradise Foundation. A very clever uh, rendition of the attraction. Next up, Manamortis Ghost Story. The world's most famous ghost stories come earlier to life as Manamortis presents the ultimate ghost story. Lifted from the pages of the world's greatest ghost writers, a portmanteau of the macabre comes vividly to life in four dimensions inside Manamortis Ghost Story. So, the classic ghost maze, really. So... You know, Man of Mortis, uh, like I said, it's gone to the uh, the Hollywood style uh, look to it from last year into the Bally Rectory. So, um, you know, the fact that it's going with a different look again this year is refreshing. It's constantly refreshing, which is good for the event. Next up, Blitz the Hunger. So, of course, Blitz was the World War II style maze last year. And it's come back as Blitz the Hunger. Step back in time to 1943, where a deserted chapel provides sanctuary from the bombs of World War II. Grab a searchlight to light your path through a foggy darkness as you make your way through the twilight world of Blitz the Hunger. So very, very interesting there. Uh, next up then, we've got Body Snatchers, Chamber of Horrors. At the end of Nox Alley, the eminent eccentric Madden Two Sword has installed a world-famous cabinet of curiosities inside Brimstone and Black's distributable funeral parlour. 
but the oddities upstairs are nothing compared to those that lie in the depths of the old cellars. Pay a visit to Body Snatcher's Chamber of Horrors if you dare, but be warned, the exhibits have an eerie inclination of coming startlingly to life. So this sounds amazing. This sounds incredible. And uh, yeah, it, this just sounds incredible. The Body Snatcher's theme is definitely great. Next up. Zozo's Grindhouse. Get your free con in a surreal and sinister sideshow where laughter and fear collide. Creep into a gruesome gala as you worm your way through hallways of a rundown carnival and face the infamous killer clown and his horde of unholy horrors in Zozo's Grindhouse. So this is definitely a brilliant, brilliant, eerie sounding show. Um, but it will provide some laughs as well, so it's a good it's got a good family atmosphere about it, but maybe not. Uh, finally then, the UK's sickest attraction is presented in a brand new way with Psychomantium Scared Stiff, offering an insidious double dare in which a shocking and graphic in equal measure. 18 plus only, proof of age required, entry in pairs, extra charge of £6 per body applies. That sounded like a rhyme. Uh, now, Obviously, we've got the the five. Obviously, we've got the the five main mazes: Body Snatchers, Chamber of Horrors, Blitz the Hunger, Man of Man Mortis, Ghost Story, The Paradise Foundation, Blitz TV, and Horrid High Tea uh, with uh, Scarp Fagot and Mrs. Flitch. Now, Psychomantium Scared Stiff sounds like an extra charge attraction, and you know what? This sounds scary as anything. <laughs> Um, now this definitely sounds like an amazing lineup overall, but that just made it even better. So looking at the dates then, uh, this will be operating on selected days from the 2nd of October to the 7th of November. Uh, now I'm going to tell you all the prices because there's four different price tags on different days. So, for the red, which is £18, um... It'll be £18 entry on the 2nd of October, the 9th, 11th and 15th of October. It'll be £20 on the 3rd and the 10th of October. It'll be £22 on the 16th, 18th, 21st, 22nd, 25th, 27th, 28th of October and the 6th and 7th of November. And it'll be £25 on the 17th, 23rd, 24th, 29th, 30th, 31st of October and the 1st of November. So those are the prices on the specific days. The dates that I've not mentioned, so that is of course the 4th of October, the 5th to the 8th of October, the 12th to the 14th of October, the 19th, 20th and 26th of October and the 2nd to the 5th of November. Those dates that I didn't mention in the prices are not days where they're open. Those are days they are closed. No dates there. Zilch. Zero. Finito. And now, um, looking then, if you want a bit more information as to, you know, you know, directions and how you can get to the event, for those of you who are traveling and things like that, um, looking at where this is, uh, if you're looking for satellite navigation, um, it is at Mrs. Dowson's farm. It's in Blackburn, Lancashire. So it's uh, at Horsh Hawkshaw's Farm Park, home of Mrs. Dowson's ice cream, on the A59 near Preston and Blackburn. It's minutes from the M6 Junction 31. The park is within easy reach of Manchester, Liverpool, and all major towns in the northwest. And it's clearly signposted at the park entrance on the A59. So that, lads and lasses, ladies and gentlemen, that is Scare Kingdom Screen Park 2020. Now, this is going to be an exciting event. Now, I know a lot of you are going to be thinking, there's no mention of restrictions, of COVID restrictions. Well, they'll be in place anyway. Um, so, you know, they're going ahead with the event. They're going ahead with the mazes, which, you know, I've, sa I've said in the next video, which will be coming today, this evening, from Six Flags Hollow Fest, this brand new Halloween event. I'll say it more in that video, but I'll say it again in this one, this first video. Um, basically, the UK restrictions are lighter than America. And that's because America is in a much 
worse position than we are now. I think we were in a really, really bad position with this. Um, it's still a big risk. It's still a big situation. But I think the UK has sort of eased off a bit um, in recent weeks. Obviously, it's risen up a bit in that. But uh, in, compared to countries like America and you know New Zealand started rising up again, I think that we've sort of eased off a bit. So in terms of the restrictions, we're keeping the sanitization, we're keeping the two meter distance, we're keeping the face masks rule around the parks and things like that. But in terms of um, like attractions and culture, I think we're starting to ease back into the operations of them now. So, oh, and obviously these business, these businesses are still going to be making a profit because obviously the UK is obviously falling into the recession for the first time since 2008, and um, you know they're going to need to make money to survive. And you know if they can keep the restrictions and they can keep they can hire security to keep measure on these restrictions. At the event, I think they're onto a good one, and I think that they'll they'll stick to the restrictions and make it just as fun as possible. So, from the from the sounds of it, from the sounds of the scare maze lineup, um, the mazes sound great. Full retheme. I think that's the thing with Scare Kingdom. I think they like to sort of keep some of the stories, like the Manamortis, the Blitz, um, um, and things like that, and just retheme the sub story. Like Manamortis was wrecked. Uh, Rectory Loiter, whatever it was, uh, with the Hollywood setting last year, and now it's Manamortis Ghost Story. Um, Body Snatchers was an old theme, and now it's become Body Snatchers Chamber of Horrors. They keep updating the theme with a sub story, with a brand new sub story. So, you know, I think we are looking at a great event this year. I think it'll be a decent event. That 18 plus attraction, though, the UK's sickest attraction, Jesus Christ, that sounds absolutely terrifying. Um, and I really want to get down to this event now. It's in Lancashire, so it's quite a long, it's quite a bit, quite a bit while away in Blackburn. But um, you know, I think that if we could, I would love to get down to this event because it sounds wonderful. So um, you know, I think this event's got a lot of potential in terms of the screen factor, the scare factor, the theming, keeping to the restrictions but still delivering the scares needed to achieve their potential. Um, and you know, if you're going down, if you're definitely going down there this year to Scare Kingdoms, make sure you send in your reviews. Message me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, all the links in the description down below. And um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy the event. Like I said, it starts um, at the start of October, ends uh, at the start of November. And um, yeah, enjoy the event if you're down there. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this video announcing the lineup of Scare Kingdom Screen Part 2020. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video. Feel free to leave a comment. I reply to every single comment. You know I do. And for now, guys, keep living the coastal life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have an awesome week.